Hey everyone, Arlie Safar here, and we're back with Jelly Car Worlds, and it must be Christmas or something, because I can see that custom levels as colorful as it is. No question mark or anything, and look at that, we have a bunch of levels that came out of nowhere. And by out of nowhere, I mean I downloaded these levels, and then had to go into the game's folders to put them in there, so... Yeah, that that's... that's fun. So, um... Anyways, we got four levels to go through today. We have um, recreations of the first two levels in the original Super Mario Brothers, a slime boss fight, and a Jelly Car Worlds playtesters collab. So that's going to be cool to check out, but we'll be doing 1-1 for Mario. I think this is like the most recent version. And look at that. We gotta get to going, and what is going on up there? Holy crap. Oh god, no, 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 no. Send me back. But yeah, this thing is hard to do. See what I mean? Please let me go through, no! I'm gonna make this jump. Yup. Okay, and hopefully I can get into the warp pipe to make this level easier for me. Here we go. Bam! Finally. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool level. Um, so yeah, this is pretty accurate. You got like cheese blocks instead of coins. And also, you yeah, add in that I'm playing with um, the Super Mario Brothers plumbing van for this episode. This is a Mario variant, which I haven't really shown off outside of a YouTube shorts I created. So. Yeah, now we're playing with power. Nintendo power. And anyways, let me just hit this thing. Come on. And bam. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Got 8,000 points. Which I think that's how much you would get back in, you know, the original Mario. But I could be wrong. Um, so anyways, we got 1-2 left. Now I'll read the names of creators after this. I forgot to read that. Anyways. I haven't really played this one. I played um 1-1 beforehand. I think it was like the first version of it. Where it wasn't moving or like scrolling the camera like that. So, oh crap. Okay, well, thank God for that boost. We got this. I did not intentionally mean to go up here, but there I am. But yeah, thank God. You know, this one won't be too bad, hopefully. So... Yeah, I think 1-2 should be easy up until the moving platforms that go up and down. That's gonna be hard. Okay. And... At passing those things. Oh crap. I did not mean to do that. I meant to do that though. Okay, we're doing a lot better. I am so freaking scared about the moving. Oh crap, stairs, my worst enemy. Man, we gotta make like a Fast and Furious jelly car collab. Or something. Okay, so... Oh, crap! I don't know how I survived that. I don't know I'm good. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive that. Well, yeah, we gotta get, a, like, an official... Like, Jelly Car X Fast and Furious collab. Like, Jelly Car Drift and... That's gonna be, like, the next movie. I don't know where else they could take it. Like, they almost blew up, um, the freaking... Um... Oh, ah, oh, crap! Okay, finally did it. But yeah, they almost blew up the freaking vacuum in, you know, the most recent movie. Which... Not really a spoiler, that it was like in the trailers and stuff, so... That would have been... Crazy to see, but... Okay, we're... I think we... Oh, yes! We got to secret exit place, or the warp zone. Which I'm gonna try and 
get the one furthest to the left. There we go. See, that's magic, baby. Oh, okay. I didn't think the level would end there, but yeah. I guess you can't, like, go straight to 4-1, or whatever that takes you. I think it's 4-1. Okay, so, um, those two levels were made by D.A. underscore E3ER, or D.I. ever? I, I don't know. Or How the frick do you pronounce that? D.I. E3ER? That, I don't know, but, yeah, man. Name aside, you did a good job. Same to Dale with um, the first level, too. He he worked on it. But yeah, give a round of applause to them. They, they probably can't hear you since you're watching a YouTube video, but still, good job. And now we're going to be going into one I haven't played yet. So this is a slime boss fight. I'm not... Okay, so I guess... We're supposed to avoid that. Obviously. So... Yeah, I did not do a good job there, but... I didn't do a good job there either. Oh, come on! Okay, so this, um... Holy crap. This level was specifically made by APSTP. He's been leaving a comment on pretty much all of my main jelly car videos. Holy crap, why is... How is this thing moving randomly? It's... I cannot read it, but hopefully... Oh crap, please don't let me die. Okay, well, I can see that the stop sign is moving. We gotta get it moving- OH GOD! I'm scared for my life. But it's like 40 seconds, I- Okay. Meant to go over here, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, oh god. Okay. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. But yeah, um, I've been wanting to check out this level specifically since it, it seems so, you know, random out. Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, thank God I hit that thing. Oh, crap. I thought I was, I thought I was going to die there, but no, I didn't. Oh man, that was... that wasn't too bad. I mean, at first I think it was just like getting used to the controls and everything. And then going into it, but yeah, overall, solid effort. Liked it. So, um... Yeah, that's three levels, and then we have the Jelly Car World Playtesters collab. So this is a collab made by the playtesters, and then also Wallaber contributed at the end of a level as well. So I think there's currently three of them right now. Like two might be done already. I, I don't know if the second one's done, but I know for sure the third one's still being worked on. And by the time this video releases, who knows? I could probably have, you know, a fourth one already in there. But, yeah, I did play this level before, so... Yeah, this is like one of the cooler levels, since it's a bunch of people coming together to work on something. Which, yeah, I guess that's game design or something, I don't know. I don't know how you make it sound beautiful, like I I did not make it sound like right now, but yeah, so far we got parts made by Loud Biscuit, um Leakin X. I don't know who else contributed, I cannot remember. I think APSTP also contributed. Oh, we can't forget about D David. You know, David like the most I think David contributes a lot. And then re-render contributed to this too. So Yeah, I made like a set of Spider-Man wheels on my vacation based off one of his 
designed to like they like for Miles Morales. But yeah, I'm thinking of like trying to do something based on his design, but more based on um you know how he looks in across the Spire Verse or into the Spire Verse. Boy. Since I'm not a big fan of like the red outlines for Miles, like you know, the, like the red webs, it's just not my thing with him. I mean, I like the character otherwise. At least in like the movies, I haven't really read too much of the comics, so I can't say if he's like a good character, but I hear he's like. Okay-ish, but like the movies, like where he got like the best personality for the character. So, anyways, I'm just gonna skip this part because why not? You know, it is Tuesday or something. Well, actually, it's not Tuesday. I'm like recording this on a Friday. So, anyways. Um, so the next part we got is Blue Bali, and I think this is like the shore section, but I'm spending a decent amount of time in it. He, he added blue balls, you know, or blue spheres, if anyone gets that joke. And this is another APSCP part, or level and this is giving me flashbacks to the last one. And by flashbacks, I mean PTSD. So, yeah, thank you for giving that to me. Because I really love getting screwed around by a green blob. Come on, move out of the way. There we go. There we go. And then we got this part by David, which... This is a nightmare to deal with. I mean, it's not too bad once you... Figure it out. Come on! There we go. There we go. And hopefully I have enough rocket. And then we got Joe Hark. So... Yeah, pretty cool so far. Um... I kind of want to see if I can contribute to one of these levels one of these days. Since it's such a cool idea. But... I don't know if I'm going to have time between, you know, YouTube and my personal life. Although I do contribute to, like, you know, the art contest, which yeah, they, I think they look decent. Um, by the time you're watching this video, I made a, a design for the third contest. I wasn't able to make one for a second one, unfortunately, since... I just didn't have the time, but it was going to be based on the movie, uh, no. I might work on it in my free time, if I have free time, but yeah, I really liked that movie. I thought it would have been cool to make a design based off of it. Okay, go. Come on. So I, I kind of lost track of the names, so sorry if I didn't say your name, but I'll see if there's... What? What? I'm saving this crap, there's no way. Okay, so back from, you know, just wanted to take a real quick break right here and see what the frick happened, because I don't know what happened. Okay, so I'm going up like normal. I, I don't... And then I go to the right. And then I die out of nowhere? What? That makes no sense. There's like nothing there. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back into the level and try to complete the rest. That that was a load of crap. I was gonna try and get back to the point where I died at, but just real quick, I'm stuck. I can't get out. God, I, I suck. Okay, so I'm back here, moment of truth. Please don't let me die. 
because of some stupid bullcrap. Come on. Okay, I'm here. Just in the car. Thank God, what happened there? Okay, so we're back to this spot. And this might be one of the more interesting things to deal with, so I think the idea is we have to get the box, attach ourselves to it, and you know, fling it with us at the same time, which... Yeah, it, it was a hard time to figure this out first. Uh, I was like playing this on my iPhone back when I was on vacation, but otherwise it's pretty interesting level. So I'm just going to skip the rest of this because I don't need it. But I could have not have done that. Crap. Um... Okay, I think this one was also done by Loud Biscuit. Who did the first part of the level. I don't know who did the stuff behind me. If, again, if I forgot your name, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to list, like, list all the names at the end there, but no guarantees. I need to see if there's like a list on Discord or something. Since there are so many people that collaborate with us. But my takeaways from, you know, this level are that it's amazing what a community can do when they work on something together. And also, David has a little too much free time to do all these levels. <laughs> or, like, parts of the level, like, he, he contributes, like, a couple of times, which... God, I'm jealous of his free time, so, anyways... We got a giant B, a giant R, a giant O, and I, I don't know what this spells. Bro? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Broad Brody. Okay, so yeah, that, that spells out Brody. He worked on this. And we're riding a giant jelly car. Well, on top of a giant jelly car that... Or, we are a jelly car. I, I don't know. Okay, here's another part from David. Which... Oh, this is gonna be fun. If anyone remembers Scrap Rain Zone from Sonic 1. This is my Scrap Rain Zone, baby. Oh, you know what? I have a balloon. Good cheese it. I got a cheese it, please. Okay. Come on. There we go. Gravity's not gonna weigh me down except for now. Crap! Okay. Well, how do I not die there but die just in the middle of the air? I still need to know what happened there. It's a mystery to everyone. Mostly to me. I don't think anyone else gives a crap what I do. And that's all that counts. Oh, come on. You know what? I got an idea. And gravity should not weigh me down. No, actually, yeah, gravity the way down the balloon. I don't know why you can't just use grapple and balloon at the same time. For some reason, it wasn't working like that, but oh well. Anyways, pray for me. Okay, come on. There we go. Yeah, nothing can weigh us down. Except for these little weird sticks. So I guess the uh, next part of this um, level was made by Buzzy. His name doesn't appear here, but I don't know who else would have a B as their logo or whatever from that server. So I'm, I'm thinking Buzzy. 
who did like win um the first um levels contest for the Discord. So I don't know who else would be. Like I said. Okay, so I think this is still him. Not really sure, but yeah, we're getting up there. And then I think, yeah, Joe Arc contributed to one more part, which we're not going to get to because I suck. Okay, but now we're here. And this balloon is acting weird. Okay, we're good. We're good. Look at that beautiful spinning wheel in the O of Joe Arc. Joe Arc. What is that even short for? But I could cheese this too. See, I got wheels. Sticky wheels, to be precise, so... Yeah, not the end of the world for me. Even though I could probably done that part easily. And then... I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, set... or we? I think? He contributed to, um... This part of a level, which... Ah, crap. There we go. There we go. So... Oh, I'm just gonna use sticky tires. I'm just not feeling it. But yeah, I mean, this part's pretty much parkour, though. Which I love. I love the parkour going on in this game. I think this is the last section by David. So, yeah, we got some fireworks, which I don't know how long that took to figure out, but god, man, that was cool. And this, too, I don't know if that was him or the next person coming up, which is the creator of the game, but still pretty cool. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a giant W. It's supposed to be shaped like a person, apparently. So, here we are. On the giant W, and we win. So that is the final video, or final level, for this video. And, yeah, um, that was made by... All these people that you see on the screen right now. I'm gonna try and put it up. Anyways, um, I had fun with this update. I think it's, like, easily the best. Like... You know, with previous updates, you got, like, new power-ups and stuff, but... And also, level rush and skull rush, which I haven't gone to yet since I do need to get to at least, um... One more skull level, which is gonna be in the next Jelly Car video. Probably, I, I don't know, if I'm gonna do more of these custom levels, because... That's why it's my favorite update. It's like infinite replayability as long as other people make levels. Or if I make levels. But yeah, it's a pretty cool update. And um, yeah, I appreciate all these um, oh, people that have made the levels, as you can see. So um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to contribute to an, a collab level one of these days. Or if I'm going to try and make my own. Which I would like to. I have some ideas. If anyone's ever familiar with Sonic specifically. Specifically, I'm thinking start a speedway race with Metal Sonic and also City Escape. I don't know how easy it's going to be to pull those off, but it's a thought. For those of you that want to play this in half Steam or Apple Arcade... You'll be able to download these levels from the Wallaber Discord server. I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description or probably the comment section below. Maybe both. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, pretty great set of levels if I do say so myself. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you later, Gators.